Have you seen all these new AI tools coming out and wondered, how could I use these AI tools to supercharge Blender and make even more awesome 3D stuff? Well, this video is for you. I've got five easy hacks with AI to make some incredible Blender artwork and animations. What's more, I've reached out to Prome AI, who are going to give each of you 20 coins for free, so you can try out these features too. That's enough for 200 image generations. Just follow the link in the description. Let's get started. <laughs> Unlimited Blender materials for custom object creation. So I've just built a very quick scene here in Blender. I've basically just got a plane with a cube that I've added a couple of bevels to and a few other objects, some cylinders and another cube with bevels. Adding them all together, it kind of looks like this. In the render settings under here, I've actually turned on freestyle and this adds a black outline around the render. Press F12 to render. Obviously it renders very, very quickly. So you can see we've kind of got the stroke, the black outline just around it, and this just emphasizes the shape of the object. Now this is the object we want to reproject a new texture onto. So from this point here, we go into Prome. So in Prome AI, we click sketch rendering and upload our image. On the left side of the screen, we can set up our render settings. In the mode setting, we want to set this to structure. So basically, this uses the structure of the underlying image that we've set as the basis for the image generation. In the style section, we can actually choose from lots of different styles. There's lots of different ones to choose from, and we're gonna choose sci-fi for this. In the prompt section, I've written a futuristic gadget with a screen. Now you can automatically embellish the prompt with this little button here. Okay, so as you can see, I've already generated quite a few of these, trying out some different styles. So let's download a few of them and I'll show you how to map the material. Back in Blender, we'll turn Freestyle back off and we're going to create a new material. Under the base color, we're going to set it to image texture and then we're gonna open up the image texture that we've just downloaded from Prome. It doesn't work quite straight out of the box and when we click on the object, go into edit mode, you can press U to unwrap and then project from view and now you can see it's actually projected that render precisely onto the image. Now this doesn't work from every angle, as you can see, we kind of scrolled around the image. But for scenes where we've got this viewpoint, it works absolutely brilliantly. And the really nice thing about this is if you don't like it, you can generate as many different styles as you need and download them straight onto the object. So you can see how quick and easy it is to generate some sci-fi objects for your scene that can actually work from a limited perspective in 3D. Tip two, AI image upscaling. Another way AI can help with Blender is by upscaling your renders. If you have a very complicated scene like this one, it might take a long time to render. So what can we do to speed this up? Let's go to our render output settings and let's reduce the output size to 25%. So this should mean the scene will render much quicker. And after it's rendered, we can simply save the file and take it into Prome AI. Then in Prome, we can go to the HD Upscaler, upload our image, and then click Generate. And here we have the upscaled image. And here you can actually see the before and after of the upscaling. So this is before, you can see how the cars look quite soft and a bit blurry, but afterwards much sharper and crisper. Tip three, AI scene generation for awesome Blender renders. Another thing that AI is really great at is image generation. Uh, in Prome, you can actually see um, there's already some samples for you to choose from. You can actually use this as a basis for your starting point uh, by sort of choosing one of the images and clicking on remix. And it copies the prompt and the settings so you can kind of tweak this to how you want it. So there's lots of settings you can choose from. You can choose from photography, anime, 3D style, unique style, which I guess looks more like um, cartoony, conceptual art, illustration, or art. Maybe landscape design. And we can also choose the perspective so we have a wide angle view and we'll set the landscape to type to be natural landscapes. So I've typed in stunning desert background at sunset. I'm gonna click on the enhance prompt icon. 
and it rewrites the prompt for us. So click on generate to generate three images. So we've got a few stunning results here and we can click on each one of them to see them a little bit bigger. Let's download this one. So we can actually upscale it as we download it as well. So I'm going to choose the 4K upscaler. So I'm into Blender here. I've just uh, chosen, I've just used Blender Kit um, and I'm going to click on these sand dunes. And here they are in the scene. And from the top menu here, we're going to add in the image mesh plane and choose the image that we've just generated. I'm just going to set the emission of this uh, material to use the color and the roughness set to one. As you can see, this render actually works in 3D space, so you can actually reframe and move things around too if you want to as well. Tip four, the scenario changer. So sometimes you might have got a nice scene here, like this architectural scene here. I've just added a HDRI for the background, but otherwise it's fairly simple. And you might want to actually change the weather or the look of the whole scene. So it's quite simple, you can just render it out save it and take it into Prome AI. So here in Prome AI, we've got lots of different tools to choose from. And the one we're gonna to choose today is called a Scenario Changer. So all we need to do is actually upload the image that we've just created. Then we can choose the style. So here we're gonna choose, let's choose season. And we'll set this as a autumn season and click generate. So here we've got a nice style. It's changed the trees in the background to a nice fall color. And we've got different sort of colors and look for the entire scene. Let's try a couple more. This is our house at sunset. Now these are nice. So this is set to before dusk. So it's automatically added some lights inside the house. Some nice options there. Some beautiful sky in the background as well. Let's try another one. So this is in the frost and snow. These look really cool. And this is in the summertime. These are great. So you can see just the space of a couple of minutes, we've got some really nice different options for the exact same scene, but set in different times of day, different seasons, different weather conditions. Very quick and easy. Tip five, pixel art style animation in Blender. So one more cool feature we've got in AI tools, which I really like, is the actual pixel um, pixel art generator. So this kind of generates art like the old school computer games of you know 20 years ago. It's a really nice kind of style of its own, really beautiful art. So what we're going to do with this, we're going to generate a nice background again for some retro style animation in Blender. So you've got several pixel art styles to choose from. I'm going to choose a uh, pixel four. I kind of like this kind of black outline with the, the you know, the nice posterized colors and the pixels. For the scene, we're gonna go for a game scene. Um, and there's lots of examples to kind of choose from. These are all great starting points. Let's go for the cyberpunk city. Let's try a cyberpunk shop front. Uh, we'll put the artistry up a bit and we're gonna change the ratio from square to um, four by three. Wow, these look absolutely awesome. Let's choose one of these. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay, let's go for the second one here. I really like this. So let's download it and upscale it. So this reminds me of a, you know an old school like Street Fighter game or something like that. So we need a character to go in it. So let's hop over to Mixamo. Okay, let's find a fun character to use in this. Yeah, this guy looks kind of fun. Let's find some fighting animations for him. Yeah, I like this one. This is a martial arts kick. Let's download that. So we're just going to hop into Blender, press A to select everything, X to delete everything. We're going to add um, an image. It's a mesh plane. And we're going to find that image that we've just downloaded. In the shading tab, what we're going to do, we're just going to change this in material so it's also got an emission. Let's put this in the color here and the strength is one. This basically means that the material is self-illuminating. And then we're also gonna add in, in fact, let's just duplicate this mesh. Rotate on the X by minus 90. Grab it down, 
so kind of the floor intersects maybe about there. Press U to unwrap the model and then press project from view. And we get a nice kind of sort of fake reflection, but from the camera view, it looks perfect. Now we're gonna import our model from Mixamo. So by adding a couple of side lights, we've lit the model up. We started to get a nice kind of street fighter vibe from this. But I want this to look more pixelated, more like pixel art. So we're gonna go into the compositing tab, use nodes. I'm gonna add in a scale node and set this to 0.1. And then we're gonna add a transform node and set the scale to 10. So now effectively what we've done when we've rendered it, so we effectively scaled the image down to a tenth of its size, and then we've basically scaled it back up with all those pixels visible. So we kind of get this visible pixel look. I think there's maybe too much scaling going down there. So I'm gonna change that to 0.2, and we're gonna adjust the scale to five. Let's do another quick render. That's better. Now I want the fighter to stand out just a little bit more with a black outline around him. So back in the layout tab, we're just gonna go down to where it says freestyle and tick that box again. Maybe set the line thickness to two. Let's do another quick render. And that looks pretty good. Let's render out the animation and see what it looks like. So you can also see when we move the camera, we also get a slight parallax effect on the ground because we're literally moving across a 3D space. I really hope you enjoyed that. If you've watched this far, please consider subscribing as it helps me to make even more awesome Blender content for you guys. I'll see you in the next one and here's another video that YouTube thinks you'll like.